Left and right projections as she descends. There's a voice that cries out in the silence, searching for a heart that will love him, and longing for a child that will give him their all, give it all. He wants it all. And there's a God that walks over the earth. He's searching for a heart that is desperate. Only for a child that will give him their all. Give it all. He wants it all. And he says, love me. Love me. Thank you, thank you. What's going down, America? Welcome to another exciting episode of In Your House with Antoine Clemens. If you haven't noticed, don't adjust your television set. It's me. It's Antoine Clemens, and you're in my house today. Audience members, guess what? Got something awesome to tell you. I just turned 21. Yes. That means hide your daughters and everything is legal, right? Except for one thing. I got to show you that. Take a look.
day. Oh, oh, Nick called. Nick called. I am 21 now. Fucking, it's illegal to go into any place I, I believe. So let me go in here. Up, oh, and it's unlocked. <laughs> well, I guess I can't go in there all places. <laughs> Can't go in all places. I just found that out, you guys. But let's get back down to business, you guys. Let's, let me tell you what's going on in the news right now. Barack Obama is on his world tour, going from state to state. How's that? <laughs> but see, people in America is not happy with that. They're mad at Pre President Obama because his world tour bus says made in Canada. <laughs> they said if you're any President Obama, if you was a real president of America, your bus would be made in China. When we come back from commercial break, you guys, we have a granddaddy show. We have Pastor Bob Zolks from Christian Impact Church will be in the house today. Also, Andania Community Services right here in Gary, Indiana. And we want to find out what's cooking in the kitchen and what's going on in the front porch with Grandpa Gene. We come back from this commercial break. We know where they've taken her. We are here to save the princess. But the princess is sleeping. Sorry. Imagine what a little time can do for your family. indoor tanning was safe. They said their tanning rays were less likely to cause a sunburn. What you need to know is UV light from indoor tanning can cause premature aging. And even worse, UV light can increase your risk of skin cancer. Including melanoma, the deadliest form of skin cancer. In fact, current estimates are that one in five Americans develop skin cancer. One person dies from melanoma about every hour. I don't want to be one of them. This message brought to you by the American Academy of Dermatology. Welcome back to In Your House with Antoine Clemens. I'm joined in the living room at this time with Pastor Bob Zogs from Impact Christian Church. How are you doing today, sir? Antoine, thank you for letting me be here. Thank well, you. I thank you for coming out today. Um, today is a, a great show, and I'm glad you honored our request to come out on the show today. We want to talk about the operation and actually what's going on with Impact Christian Church. I was introduced to you guys maybe three months ago, yeah. and you're doing a lot of great things over there in Maryville, Indiana. And the thing is, no one knows about what's going on out there. So this is the opportunity to let the entire region know about what's going on at Impact Christian Church. So tell us a little bit about you guys. Well, Impact Christian Church uh, was really my son's uh, concept of a church for people who don't go to church. Okay. <laughs> uh, it sounds strange, but the concept uh, was is based upon the idea that at Impact, we love God, we love people. Mm -hmm. And so based upon that, we did some focus groups and we talked to people and we said, if you were going to go to church, what kind of church would that be? What would it be like? And they gave us some very honest answers. And so with that kind of information, uh, we, uh, uh, my son pulled together some people uh, from the Fire Pro Wrestling Group mm -hmm. and some other young people that had pretty much dropped out of church. And um, so they started having worship services. And uh, out of that has come our vision statement that we want Impact to be a safe place uh, for people to connect with God. Uh, we want people to feel very welcome when they come in. Um, doesn't matter how you're dressed. Uh, most of our people come very casual. Uh, we want them to feel the presence of the Lord and to feel loved and to feel cared for. And um, uh, again, one of the things that I think Impact specializes in is being able to, to reach out to people and to say, we care about you. Mm -hmm. We want to preach from the Bible only. I mean, that's what they were saying. Um, <laughs> One of our famous statements about money is not about the money. Mm -hmm. 
It's about your heart and your walk with God. Mm -hmm. And so some of the unique things that Impact is doing, we've, uh, uh, we've been trying to reach further into the community to let people know we're doing stuff and we're here to, to bless their lives, be a part of their lives. And um, it's just a lot of fun working with mm -hmm. them. Uh, I, my son, Steve, actually started the church uh, about four years ago at the end of September. And uh, he developed colorectal cancer and was dead within the first year mm. of the life of the church. And uh, I used to pastor in Calumet City and Harvey and uh, recently was working with an organization where I was the development guy to raise money to start new churches throughout okay. Chicagoland. And the organization asked me, would you go ahead and take his role? And so I've been there for about three years yeah. now. And before we get back to... Um to your son. Now, when I walked into the church, I seen a wrestling ring in the church. Isn't that great? <laughs> you know, <laughs> Explain I, that, sir. We've had a lot of people say, I wish I had one of those. <laughs> <laughs> but the wrestling ring for us is, is a way of saying, we're a safe place for mm -hmm. people to come. And, and it kind of diffuses all that mysticism that church buildings have. Mm -hmm. Because we don't meet in a church building, we meet in a warehouse. Right. The wrestling concept, uh, my son was a professional wrestler. And um, one of his concepts was that there's a whole lot of people out there, especially in, in the wrestling field, that's where his heart was, who do not know about God. Or they know about God, but they're hurting. You mm -hmm. know, they're, they're going through the same kind of stuff that everybody else is going through. Mm -hmm. And so he started wrestling. And, and like I say, when he developed cancer, uh, you know, we, we wanted a way to incorporate that into the life of the church. And so actually Fire Pro is incorporated as a non-for-profit religious athletic organization okay. in the state of Indiana. Wow. Uh, it's an organization we give all our proceeds away uh, so that so that people can know this is this is this is what we're about. We have a family friendly show. You won't have to apologize to your children <laughs> for any bad language or bad dress. Uh, we want it to be family friendly so you can bring your kids. Mm -hmm. uh, and that goes all the way through everything we do with the Fire Pro show. Uh, the wrestlers will come out and they'll they'll meet the kids and uh, you know sometimes the kid will have a birthday we'll put him in the ring and uh, you know let the wrestlers kind of get around him and stuff like that. We want this to be an important thing in kids' life because mm -hmm. we know what they're watching on television, right? And we think we can do better than that. Okay. And so that's the purpose of Fire Pro Wrestling. And where are you guys located? We are just across the street from Myers, on Maryville Road. We're about a block south of Route 30 on Maryville Road mm -hmm. on the east side. We're in a warehouse. Doesn't look like a church building. <laughs> uh, it looks like a warehouse. Okay. <laughs> and it is. Right. We said about 500 feet back off the road. Okay. Great. And if they want to contact uh, Impact Christian Church, how would they contact you? Well, my phone number is 219-775-3334. Mm -hmm. And we have our, our, we're on Facebook, Impact Christian Church. Mm -hmm. And our website is Impact Christian Church. Uh, at yahoo.com. Great. Well, Pastor Stokes, I, is also, I, I definitely like, thank you for coming out today. Man, and we'll bring you back um, in right. the near future because I know there's a lot of other things coming up that we won't disclose on this show, but we'll be talking about in the near future. So once again, I thank man, you. Man, I appreciate it. All thank right. you, man. God bless. And thank you. And when we come back, we're going to find out what's happening with Grandpa Jane when we come back from this commercial break. Somewhere around the world, there are men and women of the armed forces risking their lives, helping rebuild communities after natural disasters, collecting toys for needy children, tutoring kids in local schools. They were at Bunker Hill, Gettysburg, Iwo Jima, Quezon. They've been under the sea and to the moon. They stand watch in Korea. They keep drugs away from our shores. They patrol our skies every day, every year. These are your sons and daughters. You see them in church and at Little League games. But they are special because they work to keep us safe, secure, and free. Dedicated men and women who put their country first. Welcome back to In Your House with Antoine Clemens. I'm joined in the living room at this time with Nate and John from NNI Community Services. How are you guys doing today? Fine, fine. What's up, man? How you doing, sir? Yeah. Tell us what's going on with NNI right now. Well, right now what we're doing is, uh, well, the boss, she asked us uh, one day, did we do anything about music? And uh, it was on the Tuesday, and I told her, well, I can call around and see if I can find some guys. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
that Saturday we played. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And uh, that was without, without rehearsal or anything. Mm -hmm. And it went really well. So now it's a continuing thing on Saturdays. Right. We're hearing now what's going on. It's called the Ananiah Summer Fest of 2011, where you guys are getting ready to do a, a big summer fest every Saturday, even going into the fall and winter. You're going to have to change the name, but it's going on. Um, right. and what made Mrs. Kemp, and that's the CEO of Ananiah, go in that direction? I don't know. She's a, she's a fun-loving person. Mm -hmm. And uh, like I said, we're trying to bring things back into the community the way it was when I grew up there. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're just trying to bring love and, and show love to the community, mm -hmm. you know, so um, that's what we're doing. Right. Well, John? She always speaking about the, uh, the talent Gary has to offer. Right. You know, being the entrepreneur that she is, you know, she feels that uh, the Gary's talent needs to be put on display also, mm -hmm. you know. But uh, and we're making uh, all kinds of effort to do that. And so far, we've done it twice and everything's looking good and appeal appealing to the community. People that come don't leave until it's over with. Absolutely. Even when it rains, you know, so they, you know, they don't leave till it's over with. We have such a good time with it, you know. <laughs> In the newsletter uh, she just produced, I um, was talking about November fourth. You guys are going to take that summer fest into the Glen right, Theater. Right. That's, right. That's awesome. That's, what's going What's going to go on on that type of show? Well, um, what we did was we booked every Saturday of November. Wow. Uh, at the Glen mm -hmm. and. Um, there's a lot of things we're gonna we're gonna be doing uh, as far as skits and uh, we're gonna make a big thing out of it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And we just hope a lot of people come and, and you know and participate with us. And, and for the audience that don't know what Ananiah is, Ananiah is a community service corporation owned by Dr. Yvonne Kemp here in Gary, Indiana. And um, she was featured on Secret Millionaire not too long ago back in March um, for her patriotic and entrepreneurship and leadership of getting out, cleaning up the city of Gary. And she's one of a million and just received an award um, for all that she have done. And uh, November, she's going to be renting out the... Uh, the Glen and doing shows and inviting the community out. Um, also, she has a big uh, fundraiser she's planning for February, February. and uh, Valentine's Day right. luncheon and air shows. Right. Talk about that. Right. You know, it's just uh, something Valentine's Day. You know, uh, you know, de dealing with Valentine's Day deals with the heart. You mm -hmm. know, couples and everything. You know, we just want. She, that's just Miss Kemp's way of showing love and you know, just giving uh, the community opportunity to do express their love through their donations and. Stuff. But we also in February we got a we, we about to do a, a modeling contest mm -hmm. and have a modeling show. You know yeah. it's gonna be it's gonna feature some of and I employees. You know from uh, two to fifty two. <laughs> okay. You know uh, uh, <laughs> modeling all kinds of attire and stuff. You Absolutely. Know? It's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be nice, man. You know, and we are uh, in the planning stage of that. It's gonna be we real busy working on that and it's. So it will happen in February. Now she's a big philanthropist. She, is it oh, true yeah, that she yeah. donated over eight hundred and ten thousand dollars for her own money into the community? Yes, yes. For her own money. Yeah. Uh, Christmas. Um, you know, uh, I hadn't been in Gary for a while, and Gary hadn't had no lights on Broadway. Mm -hmm. And um, she called me up and said, um, "Nate, uh, we're gonna put some lights up." And it was cold. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we clammed up ladders from, I think. Uh, 21st and Broadway, all the way down the fourth. Wow. On both sides of the streets, and we uh, we put the lights up. Wow. And, and the city is taking credit for all of you guys are doing. That. Yes, yeah, they. <laughs> yeah, but I named. <laughs> so it's all in and out. It's not the city of Gary doing yeah, that. That's yeah. right. Getting out there, they, our name's getting out there. You know, city come to us for employees. Okay. Right. You know, we are uh, we responsible for a lot of cleanup in Gary. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, 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 we recognize by some, you know, but the most people in in, in government. You know, they the ones that recognize it, but our name's getting out there in the city. You know, we do a lot of uh, alleys, re, uh, with the uh, rehashing, you know I mean, uh, tearing down stuff, boarding up stuff. You know, like in the wintertime, we got a program coming to make sure that the senior citizens in the city don't be snowed in at their homes right. and, right. you know, proper care for down. them, you know. And got a, yeah, and she's paying for this all out of yeah. pocket. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That is awesome. Yeah. Well, we definitely commend um, Ann and I, and we, uh, this is your maybe fourth appearance on the show. We love you guys, so we're going to yeah. keep bringing you out yeah. to let Thank the you. community know That's what's right. going on with Ann and I Community Services here in Gary, Indiana. Yeah. Um, when we come back, we're going to find out what, what's going on uh, with Grandpa, Uncle Gene. Right. Thank you. Somewhere around the world, there are men and women of the armed forces risking their lives. 
helping rebuild communities after natural disasters, collecting toys for needy children, tutoring kids in local schools. They were at Bunker Hill, Gettysburg, Iwo Jima, Quezon. They've been under the sea and to the moon. They stand watch in Korea. They keep drugs away from our shores. They patrol our skies every day, every year. These are your sons and daughters. You see them in church and at Little League games. But they are special because they work to keep us safe, secure, and free. Dedicated men and women who put their country first. Hello, my name is Judah Menuhano, and here's a quibia question for today. Which spinoff from The Cosby Show premiered in 1987? To answer this question, you must go online to facebook.com slash in your house with Antoine Clements. And remember, if you get this question right, you will walk, you will walk away with a $100 gift card to any store of your choice. We know where they've taken her. In a defining time, amid a noble quest, a bond is forged. Imagine what a little time can do for your family. The princess is sleeping. Oh, sorry. Excuse us. Shh, shh. From the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Hey, how y'all doing? This is Uncle Gene's front porch. Now let me tell you, I got a little done work on my face, you know, because I used to be ugly and real grotesque looking, you know. It's, just, it's the way I was born, you know. Can't blame it on anything else but genetics. My mama was an ugly person, so be it. But let me tell you, I got on Facebook, you know, my little friend uh, Judah and her little friend in the, in the closet, hanging in the closet, they showed me the Facebook. And I went on there and I found this beautiful young woman. And we're going to dance and go on dinner dates and sing. Oh, we're going to sing. I got these flowers for her. And we're going to sing our hot out. Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, let me say it once again. Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, that's the town that knew me when. If you'd like to have a logical explanation, how I happened on this elegant syncopation, I will say without a moment of hesitation, there is just one place that can light my face. <laughs> oh, somebody call the cops. Somebody call the ambulance. Uncle Gene having a stroke, y'all. Y'all don't care. My neighbors don't care about me. Help. No. No. My face. Uncle Jean's face is ugly again. I'm so pretty and I lost it all. What's she gonna be in half an hour? What am I gonna do? I... Oh my God. I gotta hide. Gene, I'm here. Gene, Gene, where are Gene, is that you behind there? Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Gene, why are you hiding behind the curtain? <laughs> you can't handle the truth. Gene, I can handle it. Just come out. Listen, Lisa, I'm not like other guys. I know, Gene. That's why I like you. No, I mean I'm different. Gene, just, just come. 
come out. Wait! Come back! I thought indoor tanning was safe. They said their tanning rays were less likely to cause a sunburn. What you need to know is UV light from indoor tanning can cause premature aging. And even worse, UV light can increase your risk of skin cancer, including melanoma, the deadliest form of skin cancer. In fact, current estimates are that one in five Americans develop skin cancer. And one person dies from melanoma about every hour. I don't want to be one of them. This message brought to you by the American Academy of Dermatology. Hey guys, Keith Dean here. And the trivia question for today is, which spinoff from the Cosby Show premiered in 1987? To answer this question, go to facebook.com backslash In Your House with Antoine Clemens to answer this question. Now remember, you can walk away with a $100 gift certificate to a store of your choice if you get the answer right. Yay. Is that thing getting closer? Look how high that thing's going. Look out there, look at the debris. Oh. Uh, give me the camera. No, no, just drive, I've got it. Zoom in, zoom in. You can't believe this is happening. Oh, what the size of that thing? It's everywhere. Are you getting this? Yeah, I've got it. What was that? It's the National Guard. How'd they get here so fast? I don't know. Pull over. Pull over. Do you have what it takes to head into the heart of the storm? Check out NationalGuard.com. What's going on? We're back again. It's like we left something. It's good to be back on uh, the set with my family, with you guys. Now. First topic, you know, I got these note cards, you know, with um, that kind of bootleg. I made them out of paper, so don't judge me, okay? Don't really judge me. I'm trying to find a good topic for y'all, okay? Okay, now, my first topic that we got to talk about, we got a whole bunch of stuff to talk about and so little time to talk about it then, okay? Now, my first topic is it wasn't me syndrome. Now, I say it wasn't me syndrome this. Now picture this. I'm at my house. You know, I got the fellas, you know, like right here, you know, we playing the PS3. You know, I had just bought the PS3. I was like, man, come check it out. You know, we on the couch. And we playing NBA 2K11. You know, and as, as you know, I say we on the couch, right? I felt a long vibration on my couch, like real long. I look around like, man, what? Put the whole thing down. I'm like, who, man, who was that? They both, you know, they both gonna say it wasn't me. You know, if they if somebody over here pooping and stuff, you know, they gonna say it wasn't me. But I just heard, I could have sworn I felt a long vibration on my couch. Okay, now the cell phones is over there. They on the thing charging. And I hope anybody got no toys over here from Priscilla's, because I know you we ain't gonna go that far. Okay, don't 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 think about that. But yeah, I'm just like, man, y'all bogus. Like y'all need to get it together. It wasn't me syndrome. Yeah, that's what I be doing. The second, I'm going to get that tomorrow. The second one is, uh, my second topic is, why you got to be like that? Okay? Now listen to this. Me and my other guy had another friend. We at his house this time playing his Xbox 360 because he had just got an Xbox 360, you know, for his birthday, his little birthday. So we playing the Xbox, you know. And we talk, and he's like, yeah, man, Smash, we're going to go out tonight. You know, we're going to get on some, some females. And so I said, oh, yeah, I, I need me a nice, wholesome girl anyway, because I ain't got no girlfriend. He's like, yeah, I got you. We're going to go to the club. I said, cool. We go to the club, have a nice little, con like, nice little time. The next day, I go to the movies with my little sister, me and my little sister and Judah. You know, they be like kind of best friends and stuff. So we go. I see him. I'm like, Jesse, what's up, boy? What you been on? He like, I'm like, what you, what, what you, what's going on here? girl over here. What you mean your girl? Man, he's like, dude, keep walking, man. Don't talk about what happened last night. Like, what you mean? We just together. I'm like, dude, I got a girl. You got a whole girlfriend. How you talking to me? We just went out. Yeah, okay, you know what? 
That's the shame, cause you know you, you when you're around me, you dressing like you a uh, big time thug, got your baggy pants on, you with her, you got the whole the whole super executive, the whole executive neck and stuff. He got his neck all straight like this and arm right here. He like, dude, my girl, like walking fast, like he the president or something. Like, dude, you better get out of here with that. I'm like, man, yeah, that's the next one. My next one is out of date phones. Okay. People with these out-of-date phones. Now, I'm going to let y'all know. I had a little problem. I went to GameStop, okay, and I was trying to get me a little Dreamcast, you know, because all I couldn't afford no new games because I told y'all before I'm broke and I ain't really got that much money. And I went to GameStop, and I seen this nice little wholesome girl. You know, she's about 18 years old, fresh out of high school, just got out of the prom. You know, I just, you know, don't think about that. I just, she was wholesome. That's all she was. She was real wholesome. So... I talked to her. I'm like, how you doing? You know, she's like, hey, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm doing fine. I said, you looking nice? She said, you looking nice too? I said, that's good. Cool. So I'm like, I'm just getting straight to the point. Okay, I get straight to the point because, you know, fellas, they want to get straight to the point. Not like that, but you know, I want to get straight to the point. I said, so what's your number? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get to know you a little bit. She said, okay, where your phone at? I said, uh, I'm going to put your number in my phone, you know, right now. So I put my phone now like this. I was like, What's the number? I'm like, over here. And, and she like, uh, where your phone? I said, it's right here. I got you. So she gave me the number. She said, she's like, 773. I'm like, 773. Well, okay, what is it? She's like, 845. Okay, 845. Hold on. Thing won't work. Five. Okay, I got it together. And she like, what? what is that? I'm like, don't, I'm over here now, because she come over here on this side, so now I got to pull it over here. She's like, man, what is you doing over there? What is, she come all the way around here and pick up my phone. It's a flip phone from U.S. Cellular. I'm like, don't worry about that. That's a, that's a loaner phone. Don't, 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 don't look at it. I told you I just got that yesterday. She walk off. I'm like, hey, you ain't going to give me the last phone. What, that's the last four. She's like, no, I ain't going. You got to get you a new phone, boo. I'm like, you know what? This don't make no sense. I got an out-to-date phone. I got friends that ain't that's got bad manners that's been pooping all the day, all the time. I got another friend that done lied to me, tried to put me on with these girls. Now he got a whole girlfriend that got me finna get beat up. She gave me the little look like my mama. You know how when you, when you get in trouble with your mama, she gave you that look like this. <laughs> she gonna tell me to go to my room. You know, when, you, when your mama tell you to go to your room, it's over with. And she, my mama tell me I used to get whoopings with everything. She just... There's everything she can find. Stension cord. She probably whooped me with this flower if, if, she, if she was feeling good that day. But she whooped me with a, a spatula one time. She was flip. I came in. I got a D on my report card. And she was cooking some, some, uh, some pancakes at 8 o'clock at night. Why are you cooking pancakes at 8 o'clock at night? I don't know. <laughs> but she cooking pancakes at 8 o'clock at night. So I come in there, Mama, what's going on? Hey, you, you cooking? She, she flipped a pancake. Soon she flipped and she smacked me. So she flipped and smiled. I had a whole, you know, them, um, them spatulas got the little, little long holes in them, right? I had to go to school tomorrow with them long holes right here on the side of my face, real bogus. So they knew, I was like, yeah, keep getting in trouble last night. Because that time, I used to get whoopings. I used to hate going to gym class after I get whoopings that night before. Boy, my legs was bogus. When I tell you they was bogus, whips all over the place. Yeah. My mama used to whoop us. I used to try to call the uh, parent, par parental control because I used to thought my mom was going to kill us one time. You know, my, my, my mother and my father would take turns on us. You want them? Hey, you get it now. It's my turn. I'm going to get them. They used to fight each other to whoop us. That's crazy. I didn't understand my mother and my daddy. But, you know, when they see the show, they might whoop me again. Like, you told them I was going. You know where I'm going to go get you. Go to your room right now. My mama going to be looking at me like this. Like, I'm going to get you tonight. You know, you be in a, in a, in a grocery store. You, you messing up all types of grocery stuff. You look at you like... I'm going to get you tonight. I ain't going to embarrass you today. But that's all I got today. What's cooking in the kitchen? Y'all join us again. Until next time. Thank you. I told you we are going to have a great show today. 
you've heard some great things today you've seen some great things keep watching you guys we're now available on youtube um, go look us up on YouTube in your house with Antoine Clemens. Uh, it's not too late to cash in on that trivia question. Which spinoff from the Cosby Show premiered in 1987? You can still win that um, $100 gift card. It's not too late. But by the close of this show, you will, it will not be available anymore. That $100 gift card is waiting for you. We're trying to give it to you. Uh, this has been a great show thus far. Keith, Judah, Vincent, keep watching and stay tuned with more In Your House with Antoine Clements. Get up to a 100% scholarship to college and up to $60,000 in assistance. Get paid to learn valuable job skills. Maybe make an extra 20 grand when you join. All while you serve your community and your country. Learn more at NationalGuard.com.